Last month, the hardware company MSI was compromised by a malicious entity. These bad guys were able to steal source code, development code, and private keys. These threat actors demanded payment, or they would publish the stolen data. This is pretty common in modern attacks. However, the big concern comes from the theft of those private keys. So what do private keys do? Private keys are kind of like passwords. They're used in cryptography to encrypt and decrypt data. When used for digital signing, these private keys are used to generate a public key. These keys can be used to verify the integrity of a program. When these private keys are made public, it could allow anyone to generate authentic software packages. So how were these private stolen keys used? Well, let's look at the stolen keys themselves. Here's what they got. One Intel OEM key. Apparently this key can be used to control firmware debugging on 11 different motherboards. 27 image signing keys. Binarily, the threat actor, claims that these keys can be used to sign firmware updates for 57 different MSI motherboards. Four Intel boot guard keys. These leaked keys apparently control the runtime verification of firmware code for 116 different MSI motherboards. These keys were used to validate the integrity of these firmware utilities. Now that these keys have been compromised, it could allow any malicious entity to sign their malicious firmware as authentic. So what's impacted here? Well, as noted, this impacts over 100 different motherboards from the company MSI, as well as multiple versions of firmware. The scary part? The single Intel OEM key was used for all Intel CPUs. This could allow these threat actors to write malware that can infect underlying systems and computers in a way that most antivirus software would be unable to detect. Not to mention, if those were detected, they'd probably be signed with the compromised keys. So what does this mean to you? First up, if you've purchased or are considering purchasing MSI products, you may want to review these risks and address them based on your organization's risk management practices. And if you haven't, there's still the issue of the Intel OEM key to worry about. In either case, it's important to make sure you're only installing firmware from trusted sources that allow you to validate the integrity of these downloads. However, as time goes on, security firms will likely update their scanning mechanisms to detect these potentially malicious files. The situation is still evolving, and the unfortunate thing is that many of these keys are hard-coded into these systems, which means they can't be changed. This effectively nullifies many of the protection mechanisms that have been in place to prevent malicious firmwares. But to be safe and cautious, it's important to only download and install firmware from trusted sources where mechanisms are available to validate the integrity of those files first. If you have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and check out our other videos answering commonly asked questions. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post our new videos.